Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's start my timer. All right, so today is a special day. I'm doing a Super Bowl look. I am a team of the, or I am a fan of the Patriots. So I'm wearing my Tom Brady jersey. And we did a red and blue look today. Not a Valentine's Day look, but it is Super Bowl, so it's special. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you've been with me, thank you. And if you don't like me or my videos, please don't fucking watch me. Um, also, I am doing an open Valentine's Day collab. Anybody's welcome to join. I would just like everybody to um, title it Sarah and Deborah's Valentine's Day collab. I'm hoping to have everybody upload it by the 14th, um, Valentine's Day. If not, you know, let me know if you need more time. But please, anybody who wants to join, just come up with a Valentine's Day look. That'd be awesome. I would love to see how many people would join this. That would be so cool. So with that being said, let's get into the rest of this face. So I can go finish watching the Super Bowl. So I'm going to use my NARS Radiant um, foundation. I'm going to mix it with the All Hours by YSL. And we're going to do this. I'm going to pump it on the back of my hand. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. Probably too much. Dub it all over. Oh. Okay, I already did my primers off of camera. Y'all didn't miss much, so. Yes, alright. And get my foundation brush. I'm gonna wipe the rest of the foundation just on the top of this brush. I hate wasting anything. I'm gonna take whatever's left on the back of my hand. And we're gonna blow out our, or blow out our face. We're gonna get our face woof, covered up. Most people put foundation on their ears, but I have tattoos, so I can't. Um, I mean, I could. I just think it would look kind of weird, so I don't. <laughs> woo, it's really close to my eyebrows. Okay. Oh. This is super full coverage. Foundation, both of these are. Sorry, guys. Blocking the view. Alright. So, yeah, if anybody wants to join, please join the Valentine's Day Club. I would love that. It would mean the world to me. Even if you're not somebody who does, you know, makeup on YouTube, it would just be fun. It's just fun to see people you know, kind of go out of their comfort zone and do something like that. I think, I just think it'd be really fun. So I'd love to see who will join and participate in it. Um, the reason why I'm including Deborah in my title is because my friend Lady Deborah and I, well, I was talking to her about it and she was like totally on board. So um, I want it to be kind of our thing, an open collab. So yeah. Oh, got so much in our hair, dang. Dang girl. Okay, let's take the rest. I'm just gonna go where I need a little bit extra coverage and put a little... You guys are gonna hear noise because the Super Bowl's literally going on right now and I have a house full of people. So I just got a bunch of food cooked and decided I was gonna sneak away and do my makeup real quick. It always makes me feel better, so that's what we're doing. Alright, good, good, good. Foundation lips. Okay. These two foundation, I mean that NARS Radiant Foundation works so good with everyone. I'm going through the list kind of and yeah. So, okay, I'm going to take a little bit of the Becca, I forget the name of this, the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I don't use this often, but look how crusty it is. <laughs> it's gross. All right, we're going to put a little bit under here, which is almost the same color as my skin tone if you see that. So we're just going to spread it out, and I'm just going to put sharp tart shape tape right underneath it. I just like this one because it's a little more hydrating. I like putting hydrating ones on with the shape tape. Okay. And we'll take a little shape tape. Stick that over top. I think I need to get that Becca color in, or that Becca concealer in a lighter color. I forgot it was so close to the shades I use in foundation. 
right. I'm putting a little extra coverage on today. Oh. There we go. Gotta wiggle it back in there. Um, where I put my beauty blender? Okay, I'm gonna use my Morphe sponge and blend that out real quick. Really careful around my eyeshadow. There we go. Ooh, careful. Okay. Yeah, if you like to shape tape and you find it to be just a little too drying and you have extra concealers, try putting like a, you know, a radiant or a moisturizing concealer underneath it and that will really help. So I don't get like crusty looking. Okay, cream contouring. So what do we got today? We're gonna use the, my Anastasia um, cream contouring kit. And I use the lightest colors, which are this one and sometimes this one. And it looks like it's still got a little bit of oil left in it, so I probably won't add any oil to it. I'm going to use my little brush that I usually use. Do I need oil? I can't tell. No? I think it'll be okay. We'll see. Alright. Whew. Getting a little sloppy, I gotta be careful. I don't want dark stuff in the wrong spot. Okay. And then my favorite part is giving myself a jawline. Oops. going to grab my one brush that I use all the time. I'm going to grab a little bit of my Smashbox um, foot primer water. There you go. Okay. I'm going to blend this out real quick. It might have been a little too much cream contouring. Hopefully with powder I can settle it down a little bit. I think I went a little too heavy though. Because I see it's looking pretty dark. Oof. Alright. I wonder if you guys can hear the game in the background. Hopefully YouTube doesn't flag me because I'm not trying to put it in my video. But there's no way in how they're going to turn it off for me. <laughs> Normally they probably would if it wasn't the Super Bowl. Woo, that is dark, girl. Dang, what did we do? What did we do? Alright, I think I want a little ham. So I'm going to go over this with my beauty blender just a little to lighten it up just a little bit. That extra concealer we got because that is pretty dark, Sarah. Okay, yeah, that helped a little bit. Yeah, okay. Whew. That was a close call, right? Went a little too crazy. Okay, I'm kind of putting stuff away as I go, real quick. Um, so, next, I am going to go into my Patrick Powder and the MAC Collab. I'm going to stick it in this bowl that I'm going to wipe out just in case. I always wash it after I'm done, but sometimes that's not enough. All right. I'm going to 
put that. I'm running out of room. Um, my nose is itching. Ah. Ah. No. Okay. So I'm going to take it on the other side, the queen side, and I'm going to push that in under my eye. And it literally just dis disappears, like magic blends and it literally melts, like it, it melts. It's crazy. I'm just going to put it everywhere, put the concealer, and then right along here as well. I'm going to try to get the rest of it. Yeah, there we go. Get my small lines. Oh my god, my son's going to be 21 soon. It's freaking me out. My oldest one, he'll be 21 on February 17th. I went into labor with him on Valentine's Day and I was very premature with both my kids. Um, that's why I only have two. Sorry, it's itching right there. Oh, I did it. Oh, it's still itching me. Um, both my kids are over a month early, so my body did not like being pregnant. <laughs> now I'm gonna take the Born This Way um, by Too Faced. And we are going to set the rest of our face quickly. Hopefully. Alright. We're just going to press that in. It's pretty loud out though, you guys can't hear. <laughs> They're getting pretty heated about the game. I wonder what's going on. I've watched so much football with both my play, my boys playing football that I try to be into it, but I'm really not that into it. And I, I don't lie and act like I watch football and I'm this big football person when I'm not. But, you know, I do watch the Super Bowl sometimes. All right, now I'm going to go into my hourglass bronzer and try to reach my brushes that are super far away. Why are you guys so far away? Okay. And I'm going to grab my Real Techniques brush and bronze our face real quick. Okay. And so we're doing the opposite side. Like I can never get it right. The eyebrows there, dang it. They're actually thin for once. Okay. Perfect. Right, I'm kind of putting stuff away as I go, so sorry about that, guys. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of blush. So I'm going to go into my Tarte wheel, and it looks like this. And I am going to go with, if I can get the cover off, um, Clarity, which is a very darker, brighter blush. It's this one. And I'm going to barely just pink, maybe twice. Yeah. I need a mirror. I need a mirror. Oh, I dinked too, too many times. It's okay. Okay, I went really heavy on the blush today, but when do I not, huh? I'd be lying if I was like, oh, I never go heavy on the blush. I do. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to contour real quick, and then we'll finish off these under eyes. <clears throat> um, I'm going to use my cream contouring powder kit by Anastasia, and I am going to go into the lightest shade right here. Oh. 
Next, I'm gonna two the two latest shades. Okay. I'm gonna be getting the Eda brush soon. Um, I've been stocking Sephora for it, so the one at my local Sephora hasn't had it in stock in a while, but if I can't, then I'm going to go in and pay for it and have them order it for me, because I'm VIB Rouge, so I get free shipping, two-day shipping. Okay. Alright, we are f gleaming, aren't we? Alright, oops. I always keep this in here, that way I know which ones which, because I pack them in a big, uh, like, box thing. I keep all my makeup in, like, big totes, because I have so much of it everywhere, so it helps me kind of keep track of it all. Alright, let's finish off these under eyes. I am going to uh, freak myself out a little bit here, but we're going to put a little bit of the red underneath my eye, and then I'm going to use um, another Stila Magnificent Metal. I think it's, nope, hold on. It's called Next to Note. We're going to stick that one underneath the lower lash line. So I'm just going to take a little bit of red. Oops, uh, I need that, sorry. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of red. Ooh, but barely any. And then bring it around here and connect it to the top. So this may not be an extremely wearable eye, but this is mostly just for Super Bowl. Um, I just wanted to represent my team. And I thought a fun red-blue look would be perfect. So that's what we're doing. Next it up here to the top. Woo! It's a little crazy looking, but sadly I don't hate it, so, you yeah, know. And then we are going to do the waterline first, and then I'm going to put that next note on. But I want to get my eyeliner on first. Um, can I bring a different one? Yeah, I think I'm going to use... Hold on. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay 24 hour perversion and stick that in my waterline. Oh, oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. Nice and black. And I'm gonna tight line a little bit better since I messed up. In my first video, I dinged my eye really hard and started watering. Okay, so here goes nothing. We're going to stick the next to note, which is like a cranberry red, and we're going to stick it right under here. Woo! Yes, ma'am, we are. I'm going to connect it up here to that blue. There we go. Oh, careful, don't go in my eye. Don't go in my eyes there. Oh, damn you, hands. Sometimes I hate you. Okay. I think we're okay. Oh. Well, that's a little thicker than I wanted, but oh well. Flick it up a little bit. That looks crazy. <laughs> it looks crazy, huh? I kind of like it. All right. Oof, got a lot going on under the eyes. All right, I'm going to do my bottom lashes real quick, and then we'll add one more little bit to the inner quarters. i got to try to be careful because I don't want that glitter getting into my mascara. I'm just going to do a light little coat. Alrighty, and I'm 
I do a little bit just to blend my fakes and my reels. Alrighty. And then I'm going to take one more steel of Magnificent Metal. And I have the one in Diamond Dust, but I also have the one in Perla, which I haven't used yet. I'm going to use it the next look I do. And it's more of a white. See, and this has more of a gold. So I think I'm going to use this one. And I'm literally going to just dab it. I'm going to grab a different brush because I don't want to fuck up the color. So I'm going to just take a little bit off of here. Ooh, a little bit more than a little bit. You take a little bit off the brush and just stick it right ooh, in there. There you go. Just a little bit. Oh, there's still some left. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> They're so funny. They're really into the game. <laughs> All right. And yeah, that's going to be our, ooh, our corner highlight. I'm going to take a little bit right there, a little bit right there. Alright, that might have been a little too extra, but I really want it to be festival, festive, whatever. So I'll be using this one in my next video, actually, for a really pretty look I'm going to do. Um, let's wipe the brush off. What else do we got? I think we got a spray and highlight and we're done. That's cool. That went a little quicker than I thought it would. Well, I'm going to take the MAC Fix Plus. Blend those powders together a little bit. Take away the powdery effect. Oof, okay. And I'm going to go into my Anastasia Glow Kit. And I am going to mix Moonstone and Summer. So this one and this one. Hopefully I did that right where you guys could see it if you wanted to. I just don't want to drop my Natasha in on a pellet and it's sitting right on the edge here, so I'm trying to be careful. Okay, a little down the nose. Oh, I hope the Patriots win. <laughs> That's my prediction that they'll win because they always win they have so far. Oh, we need lipstick too. We need a little bit of lipstick, don't we? Okay. I could uh, sit and soak myself in highlighter. I know, guys. I probably put way too much on, but that's okay. I like it. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit right here too. There we go. Just to be extra, just to be different. Okay, so lipstick. Ooh, I also got, I didn't get the whole the whole collection from the Kristen Leanne and Urban Decay, but I did get the little Daydreamer palette, um, just because I have all the colors in the other palette. But this is really cute, and it looks like that. So I'm going to be doing a look with that soon, too. I forgot I grabbed this. So I'm going to be doing a look with that soon. Sitting in here, all my stuff. Okay, lipstick. What do we got for lipstick? Um, I don't have my red liner, so I'm gonna use this 24-hour glide-on lip pencil called Nighthawk by Urban Decay. think we are going to use, see I brought a, di a bunch of different ones, but I think I'm going to use, um, I've got a Smashbox one, I've got a Make It Forever, a Smashbox one, a Bite one, i got another Make It Forever one, and then I have my MAC one, and then I got this one in my BoxyCharm. So I'm going to put Russian Red, yeah Russian Red by MAC. On my lips real quick. 
Oh, so right. Mm. Okay, there we go. I'm not a big big fan of red lipstick, but we're going to make it work. And I got this in my boxy charm. So, I'm going to go over it. It's a red. Okay. Uh Even with a red, even with a lip liner, I still had issues, so what the fuck ever. Okay, this is the look. We are going to spray our face. Um, hold on a sec, guys. I'm going to use my Tarte Ready, Set, Radiant. Mm, I love the smell of this one. It smells like cucumbers. All right, guys, this is my final look for Super Bowl for my team, the Patriots. I hope we win. We'll see. I'm sure the game's getting close to... Uh, I honestly don't know where the game's at, so I don't I don't know if we're at halftime yet or not. Mm, that's going to fucking piss me off. So I'm going to end it before too many of you can focus on that. Anywho, I love you guys so much. Please join my collab. If you're going to do it, title it Sarah and Deborah's Valentine's Collab. Um, try to get it done by the 14th. If not, message me, let me know, and we'll work something out. Uh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.